Yes, everyone! Oh, it's so romantic! Next episode, The Slumbering Lamb. So, what'd y'all get me? Bang! To the rooftops! So, um, this chapter is kind of a moment of truth. Now, this is your first time actually acting out a character, asking out a character on a date. So, I'm just do a so. You're not letting me save. Unless it's because unless it's because I just already saved, I guess is the thing. All right. So I need to hang on to this save then. This is kind of a committing point, commitment point for your uh, romance options. All right. So, where is Shinjiro? Oh, that looks like it doesn't have me in it. Oh, he's in the manager's office. He must be getting yelled at. He told me he forgot to run an errand for Sunny. It seems like he's been getting all scatterbrained lately. Ha, <laughs> actually, he's always been like that. Ooh, expanded dialogue. Subaru would argue that his recent performance has been better than expected. Ah. Experienced he is not, but he's earned Subaru's support, at least. Interesting. She's got a point. He is way better than he was when he first got here, but... That's right. I'm thinking of making you the official Star Division captain. Really? You've united all the squad members and made New York safer than it's ever been. That's a valid assessment, I would say. Besides, everyone in the squad wants you to do it. Ah! Even them. So, think you can handle it? All right. The Japanese title is a brave sacrifice. So I'll take the official promotion exam. So, looks like Subaru is the per- nope, not- okay. So is Subaru my number one pick right now? Yeah, it is. Yeah, that's right. They are. Let's not let let's not count our chickens before they hatch.
I think it would have passed on the training option there, Rosita. Yeah, that has me worried about this being weird and bizarre. Okay, so I need to boost my ranking with Gemini. Um... Okay. Whoever I don't get again with, I can I can recover with other with the other characters later. Sorry, he's serious, but still business. That's good. <clears throat> he's enthusiastic, but still business. And he's also apparently stressing. Um, average lifespan. It's a past fifty years. By the time, like. By the time this game was to be set normally, the average human lifespan would have surpassed 50 years, not including um, deaths due to uh, wartime. Uh, and presumably, with the advance, with the advancements in science, did you get with steam with like steampunk? Did you um, did you improve tech level? Thus, probably, presumably, some advancements in medical science that would also be a lot longer yet. That said, we are as mayflies, etc. Yes. Christmas event for our next performance. Aha. Uh -huh. I mean, Wizard of Oz is popular during the period, certainly. I mean, um, we would have had Wizard of Oz at this point. Um, we're probably somewhat contemporaneous for when... Oh, no. I don't remember if Judy Garland Wizard of Oz movie was pre-World War II or post. Nineteen thirty-nine. So it predates this film by a bit. Um, although I would, say, I would say it predates when this game is set by a bit, but not by too much. Like, I think we're at about 1935. Or when this is set, approximately. And also, like, like, I don't know when Shakespeare in the Park started, but at least now, with the appropriate caveats for the current state of affairs, Shakespeare in Central Park is a thing, is a thing, and has been a thing for quite some time. Checking on a fan real quick. 
on this night, on this night, on this Merry Christmas night. Okay. Um. Uh. So, um, uh, uh, Shakespeare in the park, um, it doesn't take the whole central park. <sighs> okay, w whatever. This is my test, isn't it? Okay. Well, in the words of the genre of film that would come about a few years in the future of this, let's put on a show, gang! You know what? Actually, yeah. So, the 25% option is what gets you a big bonus for Gemini. Also for, um... Karen and Rosie and uh, Subaru, actually. Um, it's your drop for Rosita and Diana, but. Arguably, it could also end up with the. Um, I admit this could end up with the uh, um, Peppermint persona getting brought back up. Oh, speaking of which. <laughs> Peppermint, okay. Ah, okay, so they said it was going to be a minus for Rosita. Never mind. Okay, so it was a, looks like it was a reasonable jump for everybody. Okay. It looks like it hit, so it looks like it did a little too low. It hit the zero. It gives you a boost, boost, a boost for everybody, uh, and then a big drop from Ratchet. Ah. Okay. All right, so I slightly screwed that up. I didn't go get, get what I was looking for, the option I was looking for. That's okay. It's actually okay. Like this, right? Think about moving each finger. <laughs> Subaru, you're like the fanciest dancer ever. The way of the dance is not unlike the way of the sword. 
Skill comes from repetition. Now focus all your attention on your left elbow. Note the angle, the motion. My determination is my secret weapon. I'm gonna bring the roof down. That's the spirit. But don't forget to smile and enjoy it. Remember, you're a star now. You I'm glad that Super is loose up some. This would make a better choreographer for this. <laughs> Look at me, Diana. I am a Christmas tree. Settle down, Rosita. <laughs> we have to finish this tonight. Look, look! It is so cool! You do it too! Uh, the lights got tangled in my hair! Uh, uh, I am stuck! I am all tied up! Hey, what are you two doing? Diana, you should know better. Oh, I don't like when people yell at me. Everything's going great. I'll leave the rest to you, Cherry. Make sure they're ready. You got it. Everybody's doing their best. I'm so excited. Oh, Hi. One other thing. Any word on that Christmas party I asked you about? I talked to the mayor, and he gave us a huge budget. We can have the best party ever. Great! It'll be the event people are talking about for years to come. Speaking of which, will you be bringing a date? <laughs> You don't usually talk about stuff like that. Well, what about you? I don't even know who I'd ask. I'm too busy with work. No time for boys. But don't you want someone to snuggle up with on this? <laughs> well, if I ever feel lonely, I just watch the snow fall in front of the city lights. Huh. Sounds pretty dreary to me. I gotta find me a man by next Christmas. <laughs> Good luck. Until then, let's make sure this Christmas party is the greatest. Yeah, we'll give everyone in the city something to celebrate. We are forever wandering. Our love is okay, so the nope, this is not Wizard of Oz. Okay. So why? No, I don't. Don't even. When we travel, we take nothing but a map and a diary. It is a treasure map and a diary of dreams. We travel to a time when we were young. Okay, so what? Okay. Like, title over the rainbow as a concept is a direct reference to the Wizard of Oz. Um, Also, I don't think we have to shift to the more, like, the less secular, more commercial Christmas yet, is the other thing. And certainly the Christmas play would be a big deal. But, man, I don't know. Okay. Adults dream of being younger. Okay, I, I, I don't, I don't know where you're going with this, at all, at all, at all. Um, are we? Okay, so 
So it's a it's a rah rah New York, but it's like we got weirdly philosophical there for a second, which I mean certainly there's a certainly degree of introspection with Christmas plays. I mean, with with where say some Christmas stories, um, arguably like Christmas Carol. Turn down the this on television. A Christmas Carol is a story of introspection for Ebenezer Scrooge. Um, the Wonderful Life is a story of intros introspection for George Bailey. Um, that sort of thing. But this is a like a, a, a different group degree of introspection. Unless we're reflecting on the script? No, okay, so no that that's their script. So what's Everything else thus far, I've done what they were doing. I the assumption of oh, you're doing Madame Butterfly. And I can talk about the history of that play. You're doing Romeo and Juliet. You're doing Hamlet. You're doing, um... Like, I could make a guesstimate for most of them, except for the, the, the stupid jungle play. Rosita was introduced. Um, I could get somebody of, okay... I know where you're going from here. I, I can comment on that. I'm not, I'm not of a comprehensive knowledge of the stage and theater, but like I don't know, I I don't know where you're going with this, man. The snow rises, falls, dances, and drifts. The gates of our dreams open with a silver key as we sail into an icy white ocean. Thank you. With all this practice, I do have, I have to think, no I, doubt the show that will be a marvelous success. I had, like, I don't know what the actual Sakura Zuka um, reviews Christmas plays are like. Um, Okay, that is like that's the first time where the, the 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 theatrical choices made within this work have, in some manner or another, baffled me. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the show, please like and subscribe. And also consider backing my Patreon. Patreon backers get episodes up to one week early of this show and any future Let's Plays. Also, please consider backing my coffee. Uh, Tossing me a few bucks also helps support the show, and it's not a monthly obligation or anything like that. 